how do you turn post-harvest waste rice straws into roof insulation for buildings? Our team proudly presents Lignopol and Ligno Roof. Rice straw-based research products from our completed project on the production of bio-based polyols from lignocellulosic biomass. All around the globe, energy efficiency is becoming more and more important in buildings, vehicles, and electric devices which will lead to the increasing use of polyurethane as insulating material. Polyurethane production results from the reaction of polyols with diisocyanates, which are mostly derived from petrochemical feedstock. The growth in demand for polyols is largely a function of growth in polyurethane foam usage, a multi-billion dollar industry with an estimated global market of 95.13 billion US dollars in 2019. The compound annual growth rate is about 12%, a significant indication of how this market will grow. This project dealt with the research, product development, and pre-commercialization of alternative bio-based polyol and polyurethane insulation products, namely Lignopol and Lignoroof, respectively. Its overarching goal is to ease global dependence on petroleum through the use of alternative bio-based raw materials such as rice straw and crude glycerol as solvent. Lignopol was produced through a patent-pending liquefaction process by which rice straw is liquefied catalytically along with crude glycerol. Lignopol was then used as the main reactant in the production of Lignoroof. Lignoroof is a polyurethane foam roof insulation in the form of prefabricated insulation blocks. Our research products address multiple problems existing globally and in the Philippine economy's agriculture and construction sectors. Globally, there is tremendous pressure to move towards using renewable alternatives as raw materials for the manufacture of industrially important products. In the Philippines, coconut and rice farming significantly constitute a big part of our economy. Adding high value to rice straw, which is considered an agricultural waste from rice farming, and low-grade coconut biodiesel's byproduct crude glycerol to produce lignopol is the major impact of this project. Lingno Roof performed at par with existing available roof insulation brands in terms of standard R value, compressive strength, and density. This project's journey started out with USAID Science, Technology, Research and Innovation for Development or the STRIDE program as a research grant award to MSU IIT in 2016. The small laboratory facility pioneered the research on biomass-based polymeric material synthesis and testing in this institute. With significant data gathered in a year's duration of the research project, the polyols and polyurethane projects came about in 2017 as a part of the three-year research program under the Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council for Industry, Energy and Emerging Technology Research and Development or the DOST PCIR. This external grant had a significant impact on the research capability of MSU IIT, especially in the field of material science and engineering and has grown in its capacity to provide technical expertise and testing services related to polymeric materials. The facility has since shown excellence in sustainable polymer research and development owing to the Institute's strong administrative and research faculty support and hard-working research personnel. As for our research product, Ligno Roof Foam Insulation is being produced using cheaper and renewable Lignopol. Based on initial estimates, you can save at least 1,000 Philippine Peso on HVAC electricity bill per square meter of insulation installed in homes and buildings. With a simple chemical process and low-cost raw materials, these translate to relatively lower production and product costs which are economically advantageous to startup companies or licensees willing to adopt this technology. With our insulation product, Ligna Roof, we go green to build green.